Slack is one of the most popular tools used for internal communications by businesses worldwide. It allows co-workers to collaborate on projects and communicate in real time. With our add-on document studio, Slack can be integrated with Google Forms and you can automatically post Slack messages whenever a new Google Form response is received. Let's see how we can do that with just a few clicks. Here I have a sample Google Form for accepting registrations for an event that will happen in multiple cities of America and Europe. The attendees filling this form will have to submit their name, email address, the organization they work for, the city in which they would like to attend the event and their dietary restrictions. Finally, we have a checkbox field that the respondents can check to agree to the event's policies. Now, our team internally uses Slack for all the event-related planning and operations. We have two separate channels, one for the American team looking over the event in American cities and the other for the European team. Whenever a new registration is received, the corresponding team should be notified in their Slack channel according to the city chosen by the attendee. Now this is where Document Studio can help. Let's have a look. If you don't have the add-on installed already, you can install it by visiting this link. We'll also put this link in the video description below. Once the add-on is installed, let's launch it inside Google Forms. You will see this little puzzle icon here that shows a list of your Google Form extensions. Click on the icon and choose Document Studio to launch the add-on. Create a new workflow. Give this workflow a descriptive name. I'll first create a workflow to send a Slack message in the Team America channel whenever someone chooses to attend the event in either New York or Boston. This is the Google Sheet linked to the form which will store all the form responses. You can click on this button to open the responses sheet in a new browser tab. Now here the workflow will process all the new Google form responses by default. However, if you want to process only specific responses that match certain criteria then select the process specific form responses option. We'll specify two conditions here. One, we only want to process responses where the respondents have agreed to abide by the event policies. Click on this drop down which contains the list of all the questions in the form and select event policy. Here we have a list of comparison operators. I'll select the exactly matches operator and specify I agree in the text field here. For the second condition, we will process only those responses which have New York or Boston as the event location. So let's choose preferred city from this drop down. From the list of comparison operators, I'll select is any of and type in New York and Boston in the text field here. This is done. Let's move on to the next step. The versatile Google add-on Document Studio can integrate Google Forms with popular applications like Slack, Asana, WhatsApp, Airtable and Trello among many others. This tutorial is about integrating Google Form responses with Slack, so let's choose that service from this list. Now here you will have to first link your Slack account with Document Studio. You will be redirected to this page where you will be required to grant access to your Slack workspace to the add-on. If you have multiple workspaces, you can select the one that you want to integrate from this drop-down here. Click Allow to grant the necessary permissions. Your Slack account has been successfully linked and you can close this page now. Now here in this drop down you will find a list of all the channels in your workspace. I'll select Team America. This is the text box in which you can specify the Slack message which should be posted to our Team America channel whenever a new form response is submitted. Here you have a drop down containing a list of dynamic markers. There are markers for individual form questions as well, so that the message can contain answers filled by the attendee. Let's frame the message template. You can even format this message. 
I'll add asterisks before and after the text to make it bold. You can also italicize text by enclosing them inside the underscore symbol. The all answers marker here contains a list of all form questions and their respective answers as filled by the respondent. We'll add this marker in our template to display the full form response in our Slack message. The message template is ready. Now to recap, we have added a task to post a message in the Team America Slack channel whenever an attendee fills the form and chooses New York or Boston as the event location. Let's hit continue. This workflow should run each time a new form response is submitted, so I'll keep the option Run on Form Submit checked. Now for the last step, you can either save the workflow or run it immediately. If you choose Save, the workflow will run for all new form responses that are received from now onwards. However, if you want to send Slack notifications for responses that were received before setting up the workflow, choose Save and Run. Let's just save it for now. The workflow has been saved successfully. This workflow is for the respondents who choose New York or Boston as the event location. We'll now create another workflow for the European cities. Now we need not create a new workflow from scratch. We can simply duplicate this workflow and make the necessary edits. So let's do that. Here we have a list of actions that can be performed on the saved workflow. Select duplicate. Edit the name of the duplicated workflow. These were the conditions specified for the American cities. Everything else has to remain the same. I'll simply remove New York and Boston from the text field here and specify London and Zurich. These were the two European cities mentioned in the event registration form. Let's edit this task. From this drop down, I'll just select the Team Europe channel. Let's keep the message template as it is and continue. Now this task will post a message in the Team Europe channel whenever an attendee fills the form and chooses either London or Zurich as the event location. Let's save this workflow. Both the workflows have been created and saved successfully. I'll close Document Studio now. Let's fill this Google form with some sample data to check whether the message is being posted in the correct Slack channel. The form has been submitted. Let's switch to Slack now. As you can see, a new message has been posted in the Team America channel as we selected Boston in the Google form. The markers have been replaced with the form answers. So this was a quick tutorial on how to send messages in Slack whenever a Google form response is received. You can open this link to know more about the capabilities and features of Document Studio. And do check out our website, digitalinspiration.com, for more such useful add-ons for Google Sheets and Google Forms.